A year after the genocide, France is still haunted by its Rwandan adventure. The ghosts turn up in the most unlikely places. In the small town of Bourg saint andreal in the Rhone Valley, there's a new priest, Wenceslas Munichiaka, whose story has revived what little debate there's been over the French role in Rwanda. After France's allies finally lost the war to the RPF last year, Wenceslas was among those who fled into the arms of the French who gave him a two-year visa. Few seemed to care what had happened in his old church. Wenceslas used to preach at the Sainte Famille in Kigali. Its congregation remember him well. Last summer, Rose Ruanga sheltered here from the war. But the church was surrounded by the notorious government allied militia, the Interahamwe. Rose says Wenceslas let the Interahamwe in, even helped them identify Tutsis, who they later killed. She says one of the militia also tried to abduct her daughter. Then my daughter said, no, I'm not going. I'm staying here. I prefer to be killed like the boys. Suddenly, the Interahamwe took a rifle and fired. My daughter fell down. I stayed with her until she died. It was two days before we could bury her. That's why I condemn so strongly this priest. And I'm ready to go to any court, anywhere, to hear him say why he let my daughter be killed. I'm not afraid. It was on the 17th of June at 11 o'clock. So, what do you think of the French giving him hospitality? The war in Rwanda is because of the French and the Interahamwe. The French gave a lot of support to the Interahamwe. I don't know if they all did, but there are French who supported them. I know. Back in France, Wenceslas strongly denies the allegations against him. He's now being investigated by a French court for alleged complicity in genocide. Human rights workers say they're happy to let the law establish the truth, but they argue the French government must have known about Wenceslas's controversial past when it gave him shelter. 